Hello, everyone, and welcome to Heartbeat Alaska Native News. I'm Jeannie Green. Thank you for joining me for today's exciting program. We present exclusive video from the recent national championship victory of Bethel Regional High School's JROTC Bethel Warriors. It's a great show, and thank you for joining me. Heartbeat Alaska would like to thank the following sponsors for making our show possible. Browns Electric. Thank you, Browns Electric, for your generous support. Heartbeat Alaska is also brought to you by Frontier Flying Service. Thank you, Frontier, for getting Heartbeat Alaska airborne. Heartbeat Alaska is also brought to you by Comtech Business Systems Incorporated. Welcome back. Some people that have traveled to southwestern Alaska see the vast tundra as a wasteland. But those of us who have been there know differently. The natives that live there know that it's a land rich with resources, some not apparent to the eye. It's the sound of youth, the sound of determination, the sound of discipline, the sound of pride, the sound of power, the sound of the Bethel Warriors. are sweating, their heart is pounding. This team is very dedicated. And I feel proud of myself and my team. And they are like a little piece of coal with a little polish and a whole lot of hard work, they turn into little diamonds. How many people can say they represented their state in the national competition? Because if you want to go to the national, you will come in here on top. We tried our best <laughs> and we got our best. <laughs> It's a cold, dark morning in Bethel, Alaska. It will be several hours before the sun peaks over the horizon. But for Curtis Snack and the other members of the Bethel JROTC drill team, it's time for action. Four, five, six. Time for precision. Order, colon. One, two, three, four, four, five, five. It's time to be at the top of their game. We are somebody. Hoo-ha! We are somebody. You check us out. You check us out. I see kids grow up. They, they go from being, you know, kind of little children to being young adults. They mature. Uh, and it, it's a great transformation just to watch them go from, you know, being the, they're like a little piece of coal. I mean, they are like a little piece of coal with a little polish and a whole lot of hard work. They turn into little diamonds. And we polish them up a little bit and 
shine them up a little bit and square them up a little bit and uh, just to watch them to go out. You know, we've got, we've got a couple kids in West Point, and we've got kids in college, and we've got kids in the armed forces, and it's just wonderful to see that, you know, what they can become. Life does not limit them. They're limited by their desire, and, and we teach, you know, help them. They, they see that. They see that they can do anything they want to do. JROTC stands for the Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps. The program started in 1916, just before World War I. The idea was to train military officers in civilian high schools and colleges. During the war, the more JROTC experience a cadet had, the higher his rank would be upon entering the military. Do you want to go to the National? Yes, Sergeant. Because if you want to go to the National, you'll come in here on time. You'll get here on time. Since the Bethel Warriors won their first national championship in 2001, some new faces joined the team and others graduated. But the hard work, determination, and discipline remain the same. We oh. practice each morning in Bethel from 600, 0600 to 0800, which is 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. every morning, and sometimes on Saturdays while our other classmates are sleeping. That really takes a lot to go through that each day of the year. We also have problems with we have the bare minimum people to compete in the competition and we always seem to have trouble with at least a few people being eligible for competition from the school to get, or to be able to travel. We had about twice the number of people on the team when we started and one of the challenges is just keeping the people to stay because they just won't want to get up in the morning sometimes and eventually they quit. Motivate, motivate. into this and I love it and I'm doing it because I love it it's not has anything to do with anything else it's just a love for this and to see young people do things that they felt that was impossible to do that's what I get out of it when it comes out and they see other schools and they look at themselves and they look at themselves hey we living way out here in nowhere and look at us we as good as they are better so that's that's what make them that's right. And they, 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 they know. They know that they are great. They know they are number one. Flying in Alaska? Fly Frontier, the official airline of Heartbeat Alaska. Frontier is expanding again. They've added new routes to Nome, Kotzebue, and the surrounding villages. As you can see, Frontier is now really covering Alaska. So the next time you fly, try Frontier. Frontier offers quick, convenient check-in, low fares, and service direct to many of the villages. Frontier Flying Service is the official airline of Heartbeat Alaska. Make it your official airline, too. Such energy, such devotion, and such discipline. Wait a minute. Someone talking to me? Mom! Bethel Ridge has Bethel 
Alaska, Army Judge, the unarmed Mexicans drill team. We're here in Red to rock your drill for man. Rock on. Thank you, man. As the time for the 2005 Nationals grew closer, practice became more intense. Yet the team still donated time to help the community. Here they show off their stuff to help raise money for Beans Cafe, an Anchorage charity that provides meals to the homeless. The weeks went by. The team grew tighter in their movements. They flowed like one body. They were precise, they were sharp, but were they ready? Yeah. Now they would go to nationals. Daytona Beach, Florida. One team from each of the 50 states. The national competition has four parts. Color guard, regulation, inspection, and exhibition. Over the course of four days, they would be judged in each of these. In Color Guard, a portion of the team presents the American and Alaskan flags in formation. In regulation, they show off their precision in traditional marching. In inspection, at first, this small conference room is silent, but soon booms with the sounds of tough questions that require fast and competent answers. Sir, 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 sir,
Part of the competition is the exhibition. This is the showstopper. Remember the performance at the Beans Cafe fundraiser? That is the exhibition. After arriving in Daytona while others lounged on the beach, the Bethel youth sweated the moves in a hot parking lot. Don't get it right the first time. Push ups for you. Out on the competition floor, the Bethel Warriors were no longer small town heroes. The judges didn't care where they were from. They were on a level playing field with the teams from all across the nation. Competing in Florida is really, really, really intense. Your hands are sweating, your heart is pounding. It just comes from the intensity from the judges and everyone around them. When we were performing on at the championships, um, we tried our best and we got our best. We've gone to the Nationals with them and they do a great job and sometimes they, uh, the kids even think, well, we're from a small school, we're not good enough to be there. Well, yes they are. These, uh, these young kids can go compete against uh, anybody anywhere. They, uh, they believe. Uh, they believe in what we tell them. They believe that hard work and devotion and dedication and commitment uh, and the discipline that comes with that it will not only stand them well in the, um, the drill, drill deck and the drill platform, but it will stand them well in, the, uh, in life. I mean, those, if you have those values and those commitments, no matter what you do, if you apply those, it will help you in life. The Warriors stepped up to the challenge. To Even so, they would not know their scores until the award ceremony that night. As the stands filled, everyone was on pins and needles, waiting to see who would be the champions. Then the awards for Bethel started coming in. Bethel Regional High School, Army Junior ROTC, Bethel, Alaska. <laughs> Color Guard, second place. Regulation, sixth place. Inspection, first place. Exhibition, third place. At the end of the ceremony came the moment that shook the stands. First place overall, the Bethel Warriors from Bethel, Alaska. They give it, they give it 100 percent, 110 percent, and uh, the the people of, of Bethel and the, and the whole southwestern Alaska, you know, should be proud of these kids. We're the only small school, you know. Uh, all the other schools are either in, in the Anchorage or the Fairbanks areas. So we're the only small school out here, and uh, people of rural Alaska and people all over Alaska should be proud of these kids.
It was a long flight home, tired, weary, but full of pride. The warrior stepped off the plane in Anchorage at four in the morning, ready to tell the world they were back. the 15, well 14 here that still gave they all. And they really, really, they really practiced hard. They gave they all to what they was doing. And yes, what they were saying, they did have to get up early in the morning and they had came to practice. I really didn't have to push them as much as I've done in the past to come to practice. They came in and they did a wonderful job. When we started out, uh, we went to the different competition in state. And within those competitions, we were we really didn't look that, that good at all. But at the last minute, it all came together. We worked hard as a team, and we came out as number one. It's been really fun, and I was happy to be able to represent Bethel and Alaska down at the national competition. And I got a scholarship, 32,000 scholarship from Texas A&M. And it was like really awesome. There's no such thing as getting an easy win, so I guess the best part for me was just winning and then uh, doing good. I feel proud of myself and my team. And I'm the second Tippo to win nationals. My older sister won nationals in 2002. This team is very dedicated. They work real hard. In order for them to travel, or in order for them to be on the drill team, they must have a 2.5 GPA. And they work really hard. We have a study hall after school each day from 4 o'clock until 5 o'clock. So these young people really don't see their homes until like six or seven o'clock uh, at night. They work really, really hard and they're a great, great bunch of young people. I want to thank the Bethel JROTC for helping me and my MC for the Beans fundraiser this past month. They said yes without hesitation and put on a fabulous demonstration. Thank you so much. Donna Dennis for your video from Florida. Thank you very much, Master Sergeant Barbara Wright. You're an inspiration to all of us. We're going to miss you, and we wish you luck in all your future endeavors. And thank you, J-R-O-T-C. You're the best, kids. Ooh, oh, you are so funny. Ooh, oh.
To purchase a copy of this program, have your credit card ready and call area code 907-563-7440 or send check or money order to Janie Green Productions. Ask for the program number listed below.